So, this is how quakes work in our realm. What I'm showing here is the basic quake pass from the east, then from the west. This is not every quake that hits, but most will follow this basic path. Quakes are repeatable, recordable data, and once someone does the research, they will realize that this is true and there is a pattern and a system that occurs. Quakes basically follow the grid that is overlaid onto our world as you see here. This is due to what's happening below, as we have been saying from the mechanics of the underworld. The systems down there are using an electromagnetic mechanical energy to work and create the processes we see here on surface. This is a grand scale of perfection that we cannot comprehend. As the energy moves along that is producing our luminaries in the heavens, a switching of the magnetics below is occurring. As each cycle of the magnet takes its course, there is a switch that we will get very deep into in our next video. This is where the vibrations will occur on surface. This energy is running along the grid, which is the actual plates of the world. This is likely a massive iron grid. So how do I figure that? Well, because of the plate that Jimbo found quite a while back in Greenland, a massive plate coming out of the ground that happened to be exactly where the grid is here in the map. That was just one small piece of the grid exposed. The pressure coming from below will cause a rise. We see this quite a bit from earthquakes as the land rises. Now, as this pressure is moving along, it will work similar to if you had a large piece of sheet metal and say one person at each end one hits one end and the other hits the other end. There will be a jolt from each hit of each end. But there will also be a third effect, and that is called the fulcrum point. Both ends will then vibrate to the center where the third jolt will release, which is what happens in quakes. If we get two quakes, the center fulcrum point will receive the third. Now, there are certain spots that repeatedly get hit with deep quakes. This is showing us the layers of the underworld and the size of the technology at play here. The deepness ranges between 700 kilometers to 10 kilometers in earthquakes. The majority of quakes are around 10 kilometers deep. The very specific areas of deep quakes do show us where the larger pieces are though. Fiji has the deepest quakes recorded, which is showing us the size of the launch piece for the sun, since Fiji is coming right off the eastern gates. The larger piece of tech is going to send great shock waves up and down, causing a seismograph to read the energy at great depths. This system will follow across the realm as pertaining to the sun luminary. Certain quakes will occur repeatedly each day in the same location while the sun is entering the area, and again as the sun is leaving the area. This also occurs with all luminaries. We also have to factor in alignments as planets align and eclipsing occurs, this also adds to the quake energy, and larger quakes happen on our surface. So, this is how quakes work, so be sure and check out our next video for a very deep understanding of the magnetics of the underworld.